Hello everyone and welcome to a new adventure in No Response. And I know what you're thinking, no this isn't a game about what happens when you ask people if they know who PK and the YouTuber is. It's uh, it's um, this is actually a game about love and loss because it takes place with our character just after a car accident that has not only left us stranded, but left us stranded without a phone. Because our phone is cracked to the point where we can't dial out or text anybody, but we can get incoming text messages. So we're kind of going through the process of trying to find someone so we can find a phone and call someone and get help while also receiving text messages from our worried friends and family kind of asking where we are and what happened. But immediately when I saw this game, I thought it was really interesting. I don't think I've seen any game like this. So I'm eager to get into this and see if we can't make it out of this situation. What is going on? I didn't know either one of the individuals involved, but you know, you hear a story like that, your heart just drops. I believe there's probably, I don't know if they've got kids or what or whatever the case may be there in their personal lives, but what a horrific story. I checked a couple news outlets and you kind of hate to look at Okay, okay, what just happened? Hello? What? Is this a radio call about our accident? Okay. I think that was a talk about what happened to us. Oh. Oh, I think they're talking about the exact dip that we just kind of rode our car into off the intersection. Oh, yep, that's, that's a broke phone for sure. Okay. So our phone did break, so we can't call. So we're gonna have to find, ooh, there's a cabin. So we gotta get to the cabin. And hopefully they have a phone we can use and they are not gonna murder us, okay? This game looks pretty. I like it. I mean for for a car accident, it looks it looks pretty pretty good, I guess. Can you say that about I don't know. I'm just gonna move on. Okay, um how do I get to the can I jump? Hello? What? Hold the right mouse button to view your phone. Okay. Well that's really bright. Oh. Can something you what? Me? Hear me? Can you for Forgive me? What? Okay. Unknown. Who is this? Is it the person that hit us? How am I supposed to get to the cabin? Am I supposed to go this way? Maybe there'll be a path I can go? Alright. Hope I'm not injured. It looks like at least I didn't hit anyone. It was just a tree that just kind of came out of nowhere. I mean, I say all the time, you know, the tree just came out of nowhere. I feel like that tree literally did come out of nowhere. It looks like it fell on my car. Who's this? Hello. Oh, is that our family? Where are you? It's getting dark. Hope you're okay, my little angel. Oh, no. Oh, is this gonna be sad? This is gonna be sad, isn't it? Sparrow View, 30 miles. Owl Lake. What is this? Flowers? But, like, it literally looks like that tree just collapsed right as we're going by. That is actually, you know, in terms of timing, that's that's it. Like, a second later, we would have been squooshed. Your mom called. She said that you haven't arrived yet. You okay? Text me back, please. Oh, no. Oh, that's so heartbreaking. Just to know that everyone's worried about you, but you can't let them know or talk to them. Oh, it's like... Oh, like, think of every survival movie or show you've seen where someone's stranded out in the wilderness. But while those people are trying to survive, they're just constantly getting messages from their loved ones just worried about them. Oh no, that's terrible. Oh, is this someone's campsite? Hello? Do you have a phone? People camping? Hello? At least I'm not like stranded out in the middle of nowhere, technically. The weather wasn't great, huh? The trip was a breath of fresh air. Looking forward to next year's expedition, just like old times. Aww. Whose campsite is this? Why do they have really big tents? Okay, I'm just gonna move on. I mean, like, at least we're kind of in civilization, you know? We're along a main road, and there's obviously people nearby. There's a cabin, you know? Could be worse. Could be worse. 
They... What? No. You're here. What? Who? Who knows I'm here? They know you're here? Huh? What does that mean? Who knows I'm here? Whoa. What is this? Is this a choice? Do I go left or right? I don't know. Which way was the cabin? I think it was to the left, right? So should I... Oh, what's over here? I, I don't think this is a path. I think it's just something to look at. What is this? Is that a butterfly? Aw, what a pretty butterfly. What is this? Hmm? We're holding off for the client as long as you've been no response hmm. to our emails. We might need to consider, but well, hold on, consider the options on the project if we don't hear back. These texts are like kind of weird. Okay, what is this, a butterfly? Aw, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. Huh, you know, this whole thing in Strand is not too bad, you know? At least it's nice scenery, you know? Could be worse. Like I said, you just gotta look on the bright side. He's got nice scenery. We can still read our text messages. There's people nearby that can save us and hopefully not murder us. Hopefully they're not crazy. I mean, they're probably nice people, right? Who could be crazy living in a place this pretty, huh? It's a nice waterfall. It's so serene. What does it say? I have to get it like in the right light to be able to read it. James, I hope you have a good excuse for not making it to Jack's graduation. He was really looking forward to seeing you again. Oh, we all were. Oh, this is so sad. Oh God, I just can't imagine just like feeling of guilt, of anxious, just being scared. You know, being in a crash that bad has got to shake you up a bit. And also being like unfamiliar with surroundings, just not really knowing what to do. And then have everyone just texting you, wondering where you are. Feel guilty and, you know, sad at the same time. What is this? What is that? What is that? No, what is that? Hold on. Okay. Oh, this is a lake. All right. What is this? Hey, remember when we went fishing and you fell in? That I pull you out of the lake. Haha. -ha. See you soon. Aw. Oh, it's a balloon. Get well soon. Why does it say get well soon? Why do I, why would I need to get well? Who put this balloon in a lake? It's a little weird. What's with this tunnel? This is a really odd spot for a tunnel. What? Um. What the fuck? Unknown. Come back? What? What the fuck? Um, that was really concerning. Okay, what is this? I can't see. No entry. Um, all right. Who is this? I miss you. I miss us. Remember when we first met? Hubby. Our husband? Oh, everyone's worried about us. But that tunnel was super creepy. What the hell? Follow my words when I finally plucked up the courage to speak to you. Aww. Reflection of the embers from the campfire fluttered in your brilliant blue eyes. Like the butterflies in my stomach. Aww, that's so sweet. Aww, it's really cool. Like all the memories that bring up as we go along the path. And oh, it's, it's so sad, but happy at the same time. It's really weird. We didn't have much, but we stuck together. We asked the question, I wasn't sure you said yes. I can't believe I forgot to bring the frame. <laughs> That's honestly something I would do. Oh, um, I wasn't supposed to be over here, but at the same time, if you're gonna have a no entry zone and then clearly have a path leading into the no entry zone, just literally a couple feet down the path that you tried to block off, then that's your fault, okay? You obviously didn't really care too much, but why would there be no entry for this cabin? It's kind of, I don't know if I'm like creeped out or not by this. We said we'd go back to the clearing in the forest sometime, but work always got in the way, just as it did tonight. I should have been there with you. Oh. Oh, so our husband avoided the crash because he was at work. Well, what? What? 
Si. But now that you're gone. No. No. Oh, it all clicked. It all clicked at the end. Oh, that's. didn't make it out of the crash. Oh, Jesus. Oh, I can't imagine that feeling. I can't imagine that feeling of loss, of all of the wondering, of what ifs, the guilt. Oh, jeez. Could you imagine that? Knowing that all the while that you're texting someone, wondering where they're at, if they're gonna get there soon or why they're not answering their they've passed I can't even begin to imagine that oh my god that was such a beautiful but oh, heart-wrenching story oh my god it really did take me by surprise it kind of all clicked there once the door opened but Oh, up until then, I had no idea. I was like kind of creeped out. I was kind of scared. I didn't know what to really think. But everything just, oh, I guess it all made sense at the end, technically. But didn't really make me any happier about it. Either way, thank you all so much for doing today's adventure and no response. As always, I hope you enjoyed the video and hope you enjoy the rest of it as well. I hope to see you next adventure. Bye bye. <laughs>